I'm Leonard Lopate and I'm here with Amelia Peck, who's a curator in the New American Wing at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Most of this art has been on display in the past, but you're doing it differently this time? Yes, this, well, the courtyard that we're standing in right here is actually quite different than the way it used to be. There were big beds of green planting material and all the sculpture you see right, right here next to us as we, as we speak. Um, was in the middle of green planting beds. So you could never get up close to it. You could never really appreciate it, get all the way around it. So we've totally changed sort of the look of the courtyard. So it really has become a sculpture garden rather than sort of a greenery area. Put a lot more sculpture in and um, some more modern sculpture. We actually have in, inherited or, or brought over some sculpture that used to be in our modern art department and brought it here to be seen in our courtyard. This is an example, although this is an example. it's the American wing, but of course this is an Italian immigrant. An Italian, absolutely. And the American wing, and this is kind of interesting, this is a 1923 sculpture. The American wing was founded in 1924, and you see here, over there, the bank facade that used to be a freestanding building, and that was the entire American wing in 1924 and for many years. The Met itself is really an encyclopedic museum, and within the American Wing, which we like to think of as our own little museum here on one end of the museum, we like to be encyclopedic too. We want to have good examples of every type of art that was here being produced in America. Yeah, but we don't uh, we don't uh, have a lot of mediocre Italian art in the Renaissance area, you know. But that's that's some... probably true. But I have to I, I'm going to defend it all and say that mediocrity is in the eye of beholder. What if you compare, they all really aren't an apples to apples. Well, comparison. America was not a great art place. And there, weren't any, there were no people tr being trained to be professional artists. Everyone had to go to Europe to be yeah. a professional artist. So, so if you're looking at a folk painting, you have to look at it as a work of an imagination and, and a sort of untutored, but, but maybe great in its own way. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, well, you're very welcome. This was fun.